It's finally here. We have our selections. Let's fill out these brackets. Now I'm gonna go back and use the data from the first couple of videos to see how we picked the first round, the second round, and the overall champion. But I'm also going to take the Ken Palm formula that we talked about in the third video and use that to make every single pick in this particular bracket. Now I'm gonna do more than one bracket. In fact, I'm gonna post another video either tomorrow or Wednesday. This is gonna take the top teams and basically randomize the order of the placement, who wins, who loses, based on the given probabilities of them winning. So that's for tomorrow. But for this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Ken Palm all the way, 100% Ken Palm. We're gonna Ken Palm it from start to finish. That's right, Ken Palm is now a verb. Okay, so here's the first thing. These are the Ken Palm stats for March 18th, 2024. You can see there he's made the uh, tourney teams in red. And there is the adjusted efficiency margin, adjusted offense, adjusted defense. And right to the right of that, I shouldn't have left that out, is the adjusted tempo. Okay, so quick little recap of the first video we made here. Any team with an adjusted offense efficiency over 120.7 wins 80% of the time in round one. Adjusted efficiency margin over 22.9 wins 90% in round one, and so on. I'm not gonna read all of these here. Those last three are teams that would lose. In fact, I'm just going to focus on the adjusted efficiency margin in this next couple of slides here. Here are the teams with adjusted efficiency margin above 22.9 in this tournament, 2024. These are the top 11 teams in the Ken Palm rankings. They all have adjusted efficiency margins over 22.9. According to the stat in the previous slide, 88% of these teams will advance past round one. Here are the teams that have adjusted efficiency margin less than 10.0. Now these are the teams at the bottom of the brackets that we're gonna to pick to not win, right? To pick to lose. Now some of these are the uh, play-in teams, so they might not make the actual brackets here, we'll have to find that out. But according to this particular stat, which is at 90%, since 2001, any team with an adjusted efficiency margin below 10.0 loses in round one at 90%. So I'm gonna pick all of these teams to lose. And finally, here are the contenders. 2024 championship contenders with Ken Palm stats, again, according to my previous video, the adjusted offense efficiency is over 113.8. Uh, the adjusted defense is less than 95.2, or the adjusted efficiency margin is above 30. So finally, here we go. We're going to use now from that third video, the Ken Palm prediction formula. And what we're gonna do is every single seed here, I'm gonna first go through all the seeds in round one, one, 16, two, 15, and so on, and look at these probabilities. This is gonna be from beginning to end, the full Ken Palm bracket. Look at round one here. No surprises that we see the one seeds having very high percentages here. We're gonna advance all the one seeds past the first round. This is really a slam dunk. I know that we've had a couple upsets recently, but I don't see this as something I would ever bet against in any circumstances. The two versus 15, again, pretty high, over 90%. When you go to filling out a bracket or doing any kind of like sports betting or anything like that, if you're given 90% or better win rate, you take it. So <laughs> I'm taking the two seeds as well. Three seeds also, they're up at 86, mid 80%. And by the way, these also satisfy those criteria that I talked about earlier. Round one, the four versus 13. Again, in the upper 80s. Now we finally see something there. Look at the Midwest, lower right-hand corner, where Kansas is obviously it's still odds-on favorite here, but not as high as the other four seeds. But still, we're going to advance all the four seeds, one through four. This is a very chalky selection, which I completely understand. But one more time, we're just going to go with the Ken Palm prediction formula and see what kind of bracket that fills out for us. Now, here we go. We think maybe there'll be a 12 seed versus five. Well, <laughs> not this year. The closest one we have is the St. Mary's and Grand Canyon, but still they're at 63.8%. So we're going to go ahead and go with St. Mary's. Here, I think, is the first time we see an upset. Six versus 11, New Mexico, down there to the bottom left in the West region. They are 55% to 45% to win against Clemson. So Ken Palm predicts. One upset here, a six, 11 versus a 6. 7 versus 10, we have another upset. Look at the upper right-hand corner. Colorado, 50.7. Now barely squeaking by Florida. And finally, the 8 versus 9. 
Now, we don't really call this particular one an upset, but it did pick two nine seeds. And look at the eight seeds, Ford Atlantic, barely above Northwestern, uh, Nebraska a little bit higher than that. All right. Now for the round two, what we're going to do is go by region to try to make this a little bit easier to uh, digest and understand. East region, Connecticut plays eight seed Ford Atlantic, 83% picking Connecticut. Auburn plays San Diego, Auburn up 71%. We're picking Auburn. Iowa State and Illinois. You can see all these here. If you just want to pause the video right here to see what the uh, picks are, you can do that. This is very chalky, like I said. It picks all the top four seeds, which is fine with me. The West. Again, the top four seeds. There you go. North Carolina, Alabama beating St. Mary's. Baylor over New Mexico. And Arizona looks like the biggest margin there against Dayton. In the South here, again, the top four seeds. Uh, Houston is definitely the dominant seed. Kentucky kind of barely getting by Texas Tech. Look at the Midwest here. Purdue, Tennessee, and Creighton. Look at the bottom left-hand corner. Gonzaga is picked at 55.8% against Kansas. And finally, here's the Sweet 16 and the Elite 8 by region. Connecticut getting past Auburn. Iowa State past Illinois. And the championship game for the East region, Connecticut getting by Iowa State. So Connecticut's going to the Final Four. In the West here, we have North Carolina, Arizona winning their games. And then look at the bottom left-hand corner there. We have Arizona 55% to 45% basically for North Carolina. So we have the two seed going on to the final four instead of the one seed. It's chalky, but it's not 100% chalk. <laughs> and hopefully it's better than just picking the higher seeds. We'll see. In the South, we have Houston and Marquette. And with Houston beating Marquette, going to the final four. And then finally in the Midwest, we have Purdue and Tennessee winning with Purdue beating Tennessee. So here we go. Final bracket picks here for Ken Palm stats. Connecticut over Arizona. Houston over Purdue. We all kind of expected or maybe imagined that it would be Connecticut and Houston in the end. And who's going to win? 51.1% to 48.9%. Connecticut barely squeaking by. In a barn burner, very close, tight game, maybe win on a last second bucket. I don't know. I just made that up because the percentages are so close. Guess we'll find out. All right, that's it. That is a full Ken Palm bracket. See you in the next video.